morning. So early in the morning, uh, day after the storm, if you watched the last video, you saw what a mess that storm was and all the ice and all that towards the end. Uh, I'm out checking uh, for black ice this morning and uh, refreeze and stuff like that and spot treating some spots. So while I'm doing this, I figured I got to go to all the properties anyways. Why not give you guys kind of a little uh, tour of all the uh, commercial properties that we do. So uh, that's going to be what I'm going to do today. Just kind of drive around this morning, check all the parking lots, hit any spots that are slick. Uh, and just check on everything, make sure everything's good for the, the morning. So um, first property up here, it's a little dark this morning. So this was our first ever commercial property that we took on uh, 2016, 17. Uh, basically the year I started plowing snow for myself. Um, so this is a church that we do, uh, one of the two churches. Um, this one's, I have a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> um, the parking lot's older. And it's definitely a little rough. Uh, there's a lot of like um, jagged edges and stuff like that, if, uh, cracks and stuff, I should say. So your plow usually trips quite a bit on the trip edge. Uh, it is a little tight up towards the front up here. Uh, this is the back parking lot. Uh, this little area is really tight, especially with this big plow. This is a fire lane. As you see, I'm taking out the bushes. Uh, it, it's, it is a little bit of a tight parking lot, but. A um, lot of shoveling here too. Um, we have to shovel all the entrances. There's one, two, there's like six different entrances. It's a big building. Uh, we're gonna do all the front steps here and then the house next door. Um, so there's quite a bit of shoveling here um, to do. It's pretty dark out right now still, so you can't really see much. Probably should have waited a few hours till the sun came up to do this video, but <laughs> I gotta get going on the salt. So, but anyways, this is the first one that uh, we ever took on. Um, I'm just checking. Everything looks pretty good um, compared to what it looked like last night. So let's go right down the street. Um, I'm not even gonna actually shut the camera off. I'll be trying to tell you guys how close all our counts are. So um, this is to give you perspective. So I'm pulling out right now. Probably 30 seconds, not even. <laughs> I don't have a timer going, but um, our next uh, batch of properties is literally right right down here. So all of our properties are pretty much within a mile of each other, uh, commercial properties, except for maybe one. One's maybe like a mile and a half away. So this cluster up here on the left is uh, the apartment buildings, the newer ones that we do. Um, I'll tell you the backstory of them in a second. And the office building. So I'm gonna start at the office building. Uh, that was the second, uh, I think our second uh, commercial customer that we uh, we took on. We've had this one again for years. Um, awesome customer, they pay right on time. Um, like, pretty much perfect customer, so. And so yeah, this, this parking lot was pretty bad last night with ice. It's dark out still, so you can't see much. But I think uh, we're looking pretty good. So this was our yeah, I wish I did this video when it was a little lighter. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, the sun's just coming up, so a couple more hours we'll have some sunlight. Anyways, this office building, uh, same thing, has a lot of shoveling at it. Um, hopefully you see me now. I apply. It's 6.30 in the morning. The sun's coming up, but I got to I gotta do what I'm doing now uh, before everything opens up, so that's why I'm doing the video now. Um, this was our second customer that we took on. Um, basically... It's an office building. So the original owner owned this building and then the little tiny apartments right here. Um, and he ended up selling this apartment to that apartment owner. So <laughs> uh, we lost that one for like two or three years. Um, and we were just doing this one. There's a lot of shoveling here too. There's a ramp, all the entrances, entrance on the front. Um, these two apartments, I'm not going to run over there, but you guys have seen them. Uh, we just took them back on this year. So basically, the guy who owns this property lives right, basically right there. <laughs> so there's a whole cluster of properties right here that we do. Um, he, I forget the story, but his snow contract is no longer doing or whatever. Um, I think it was just because it's a tight area and they didn't want to deal with it, to be honest. But I don't know. Uh, good guy. Same thing pays the minute we send him the bill. So I'm not complaining. Uh, so far, great customer. Um, we took these back on. So we got these two buildings as well. I'm not going to fly over there, but... You can see them from a distance. Uh, that's that really, really tight office building you've seen in the videos, and this one's not as tight. It's just a very small parking lot. But there's a good amount of shoveling at this one. There's a walkway that goes around the back here with uh, you know, all the entrances and stuff to do. So um, so a nice little cluster of um, you know, properties right here. 
Um, I'd mentioned in a couple videos back, if we ever get a big storm, I think the skid steer is going to come up here because, you know, the, between these these uh, properties being so tight, uh, maybe I'll fly over there in a minute and show you guys. But those off, uh, that apartments are so tight over there, it's tough to get a plow in there when there's cars. So my thought is the skid steer could do all three of these buildings and then that church is 30 seconds down the street, you know. So basically four properties uh, in one. Um, it is nice at the apartments, but you know, if we had to in a pinch, we could definitely come up here. So, uh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna get out and check for ice, to see how we're looking. Where's my uh, light? So I know it's still dark, but you can see the salt still down from last night. Um, that's icy. Definitely a few slick spots. bad this looks good yeah we got a few little slick spots nothing crazy uh, as the sun comes up you'll be able to see this better but um, this is what we were dealing with last night if you guys will watch watch the last video is You know everything obviously looks wet right now, but you know, we have a lot of slick spots like all right here is all slick You can't see it, but this is all all black ice uh, We hit this park a lot heavy you can actually still see a lot of the salt residue So um, I'm gonna probably throw a little more material down real quick um, Pick these entrances real quick pretty good <laughs> probably a little too much ice melt down here but <laughs> rather have too much I guess sometimes <laughs> all right yeah we're just gonna spot treat this a couple little spots um, up in here you see it's icy so this week's not supposed to get out of the uh, the 20s pretty much for the rest of the week till next week so uh, none of this will melt. <laughs> Sun might melt a little bit of it. So, all right, we're gonna spot treat this, and then uh, we'll move on to the next one, which is again about a mile that way. Be right back. All right, this one's all set. I'm gonna just do a real quick drive by. I'm not gonna pull in. But these are the two apartment buildings, uh, both real small, like I said. So we got this one here, real small parking lot, and this one's a tight one that, uh, as you can see, <laughs> very tight. But uh, you can get a truck in there, no problem. You just gotta be careful. This is the front of it here. So we gotta shovel these two walkways here. And then as you see, you know, there's a little aisle way in the middle. So park a lot itself is tiny. Uh, it's not big at all. It's just, uh, it's tough to get in there. And then there's nowhere to put the snow. <laughs> that's, the, that's the hard part is uh, if we ever get a big storm, there's literally nowhere to put the snow um, in there. Uh, so, but we'll deal with it if there's a big storm. These small storms, 100% manageable so um, and then obviously they move all the cars um, you know after the storm so we can clear it all out so it's just kind of keeping it open it's, could be a little tough but so far so good two storms in and we haven't had too many issues so and then now we're heading down to the bigger apartments that we do uh, they're literally right down the street here so um, I don't know why this person's stopping but anyways we'll see you guys in a second and at the big apartments now, uh, people everywhere. It's the only thing I don't like about this place is uh, sometimes it's just people everywhere. But other than that, it's not a bad account at all. Um, pretty easy to do. I'll uh, do a quick drive around. I don't know what this guy's doing. He keeps, must be the mail guy or whatever. I don't know. But um, basically, um, during the storms, you're just going to keep the aisleways open and, you know, walkways all that stuff open. After the storm, that's, that's the tough part is all these cars need to move. So... Thankfully with that skid steer with the push box that we have the back drag on it I can get in like you can kind of see I've cleaned out most of these spots The problem is you'll get like one or two cars like you know I was able to clean all these out this guy didn't move his car cleans his car off now It's all in that spot, you know <laughs> So and then you get you get you know every every few cars like you see there's a couple down here There's still snow covered that didn't move um, That's the problem and I'm sure anybody that does apartments knows that is uh, you know you get 50 50 half the people move half the people don't like this car didn't move but i was able to get all around all the others this one didn't move <laughs> so that one didn't move 
um, but for the most part you can see I've, I was able to get in between most of these so um, but it's not a bad account at all uh, this is obviously our biggest account um, and then uh, we got this one for two years so um, it, it's a pretty easy account all in all um, just kind of takes some time after storms to clean up and all that stuff so um, as far as like salt and stuff like that I mean this one does use up a good amount of salt uh, just because of the middle over here, uh, for some reason, the way the drainage works, there's always, basically all the water funnels to this middle aisle way here. So, uh, it gets a little tough, you know, as far as uh, keeping this de-iced. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. Um, not much I can do about the drainage. You see the big puddle here in the middle. So the problem with the puddles, everybody comes in and splashes through it and, you know, makes this whole area icy. That's where I'm dumping salt on right now. But other than that, pretty easy account. Um, we usually leave the skid steer up here um, pretty much all the time during storms. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Uh, you can see it's over here in the back corner. So we'll probably be bringing this back to the shop at some point this week. So there's the skid steer right there. And then this back too is usually a little bit icy, but I mean, all in all though, we, we hammered this thing last night with salt, so it's really not that bad. It's just mostly under the cars, but there's really not much I can do about that. I'm trying to get as close as I can to them and, you know, deflect the salt towards them, but there's not much I can really do. So, all right, I'm going to get out and uh, get some salt down on some uh, spots that are slick. So I'm going to put the camera down. We'll see you guys on a few. All right, that's probably as best as this place is going to get. May have put a little too much salt down, but oh well, as you can see. <laughs> it's tough because, uh, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of cars here, so you can't get the salt underneath the cars unless you try to get up close to them, but it's probably as best as it's going to get. Off to the next one. Next one's right down the street. This is the other church that we do. So this one's about a minute and a half that way. So I'm very curious to see how this one looks. Uh, out of all the parking lots last night, this one was the iciest. Um, basically what happened, if you watch the video, rain, uh, snow changed to rain and it rained pretty much all afternoon and then just froze. Uh, there was like no, <laughs> no way of getting ahead of it. It was, it was pouring rain, so it's like if you put down any salt, it was just gonna get washed away. And uh, it just, it froze right up, and then uh, literally, you know, <laughs> there's not much you could do, so. Um, but the tree to salt we're using works unbelievable. Uh, so far, looks good. This back pocket lot was, uh, oh wow, completely. So this was 100% all ice, looked like a hockey rink. Just get a little close to the building here real quick. So yeah, we're all black pavement. That corner is all ice, I'll back up there, but for the most part, this place looks awesome. So this uh, this account here is my family's church. I grew up going here my whole life. Um, this was, uh, we took this one the second year we were in business. So we got the first church the first year, this one the second year. Uh, that second year we got um, this place so we had three accounts. We actually had four accounts. We had this place, that other church, the office building, and then we had one other office building that uh, got sold that we no longer do um, that year. So uh, this one's not bad. Pretty big parking lot and uh, a couple walkways to shovel, but it's really, really not too bad. It's actually not a bad property to do at all. Um, I don't really mind it at all. So uh, we usually can save this to the end of the storm unless it's like a Sunday when you have to, have to be out here, which happened two storms ago. So. But I'm gonna uh, hit this one real quick and then we'll go up to the last one, which is actually, I'm, it's one I'm not gonna show. We have a small little uh, apartment. It's basically a, a house that has, you know, a couple parking spots. I'm not gonna go show that one. I don't think I've ever even shown that on the videos. Uh, I'm gonna run up to the storage unit after this. That one should be fine. I was there last night. That was the last one I did, so. But uh, we'll check that one real quick too. And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little lap around here and check any uh, other slick spots. Um, you can see there's a little bit of ice up against the buildings and stuff like that, so. Get all that checked and uh, be on our way. Just want to show you guys this parking lot real quick. Um, it's an old Amazon building that's abandoned. They didn't plow. It's there's probably six inches of ice on there. 
you could literally, I'm not even joking, if I put my skates on, I could probably play hockey on this parking lot. That's insane. <laughs> Hopefully they're not gonna try to get out there today and clean that, cause that's not, uh, you're not cleaning that up. <laughs> I know they're not using that building anymore, but still, that's, uh, that's insane. <laughs> All right, last and final one. Uh, this is the storage building and office building that we do. Uh, this is another one of the original customers. Pretty much most of my customers are all original from the first couple of years of business. So uh, we've been able to retain them year after year. Um, all been good customers, no complaints, pay on time. So there's been a couple that we've done, you know, that have shafted us and I uh, haven't paid, which you notice we probably don't see them on the videos anymore. Uh, a lot of the reason why you don't see them is because uh, some of them still actually owe us money. So um, there's some real uh, scumbag uh, customers out there, but for the most part, the ones we have are great. I can't complain about uh, the ones we've had for the past couple of years. So, but that's just kind of a quick tour of all the properties that we do. Um, as I was kind of out checking for ice, everything looks good. Um, you know, it's warming up a little bit. It's up to 19 degrees. <laughs> So it's not supposed to get out of the 20s pretty much for the rest of the week through the weekend. Might be a little uh, snow event Friday. We'll see. But um, I'm going to head back to shop, unload the salt, and then uh, got to come up with a game plan for the rest of the week. I want to clean these trucks, but it's a little too cold to do that. So uh, i got to figure that out. But um, i got to catch up on paperwork from this storm. So a lot to do. Uh, a lot coming down the, the line. We're going to Atlantic City next week uh, for the pool and spa show. So uh, we'll be... Uh, bringing you guys along for that um got a couple other things in the work so uh stay tuned for more thanks for watching guys See you.